water, fire, air, and dirt. Fucking magnets. How do they work? Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so we're going to do something completely different from what we've done before. We're going to give an advanced technique um, a try. All right, so you're going to need a few things. One, I would recommend you get some digital calipers. Um, you're going to get some magnets, whether it be bar magnets or um, cylinder magnets. And, of course, we're going to go through this technique uh, step by step, but we'll make something really, really small. Um, but in this tutorial, you'll actually go through uh, how to create your model. We're actually going to place a hole in that model. I'll show you how to pause the print and insert the magnet and have the printer, of course, finish off the job. Okay, so we will take this step by step. Uh, first, we will create primitive. We will do a cylinder. All right. Now what we'll do, we're going to scale this. I will actually take out uniform scale and this is fine, that's fine. Let's knock this down to six millimeters, all right? Now, the magnets that I have are six by about 2.5. Um, so we're going to use those numbers, not exact, we're gonna be around that um, because your filament may expand. Uh, so we're gonna right click, we will add a negative part, and since we created a cylinder, and my magnet's a cylinder, we will basically add a negative cylinder part. All right, now within this, we need to shrink it. So we will go to the back to scale, and the size of the magnet, again, is about six by six. I'm actually gonna do 6.5. Again, I'm gonna give some room for expansion. And the Z height of that magnet, I believe is a 2.5. We're gonna do three, just to give us some wiggle room. All right, now, we are going to move this over. So, I'm gonna use the move tool. You can just move it with your mouse, but this makes it a little easier. All right, now within this, actually I'll try to center both, but it may not center. If it doesn't, we'll just eyeball it center here all right we're going to do the move tool again and we're going to bring this down and we want to go into this model slightly all right now this is where things get a little tricky because we're going to slice the plate and it will look like nothing happened but we need to go down a few le levels we need to make sure that we at least have one to two uh, layers above where we're going to place this magnet. So top layer, it's flush. Next layer, pretty much flush, but we essentially have it um, covering the part of the magnet, then we should have a hole. All right, we want to try to get this as close to um, the outer edge as possible. And we'll just go down a few more layers. All right, so as long as we didn't penetrate the bottom, we should be in good shape. All right, so from here, it will go up. All right, now, so we could do this a manual way where we start printing. Once it gets to a certain level, we will manually pause. We're not going to do that. That actually would be a pain because you have to watch the print. What we're going to do is go down to where we can insert the magnet. We're going to click over here and uh, right click over here, and we want to add a pause. So what will happen is as it prints, it'll get to that layer, stop. We can place in our magnet, uh, and then it will continue on. All right, so add a pause. All right, so I'm going to print this and add the magnet and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so this is where it added the pause. I'm gonna place the magnet in.
Now I will continue the print. Okay, so that worked well. Now, general rule of thumb, and I should have mentioned this earlier, since we're using magnets and our nozzle is steel, which is ferromagnetic, you could theoretically have that magnet try to move from its position. So you may want to glue it down in the pause phase. So add a bit of glue to the magnet or into the base of the print, um, glue it down, wait till it sets, and then continue on printing. Um, but otherwise, you should be able to add a magnet to almost anything uh, and I just use one of the smallest magnets I have but you can use larger magnets bar magnets etc thank you very much for watching and the channel has actually been growing at a steady clip so I really want to thank you guys and if you have any questions I am here um, I may not be able to get to everybody and it looks like uh, you are helping each other in the comments so I do appreciate that and if you have any uh, concerns or if you want me to revisit any particular topics, uh, just shoot a comment down in, the, um, in any of the videos that's related to the topic. And again, thank you.